What is up, YouTube? HPJ here, and I'm coming at you guys because it is time to talk about Twitch. It is time to talk about my experience with Twitch. It's time to let you guys know what's going on with me on Twitch. If you guys don't know who I am, let me reintroduce myself. I am Harvey Player Joe. I'm a content creator. Um, I do YouTube content. I was doing live streams on Twitch. And I'm an all-around Yu-Gi-Oh player. I'm a Yu-Gi-Oh player, a gamer, and basically just I love anime. And um, I'm celebrating the 14th year of my channel. So one of the aspects of my channel was Twitch and live stream. So there's a lot that happened during the last year of going into this year. And I know many of people would love to hear exactly, you know, what's going on at HBJ, what's up with, you know, Twitch, what's going on with everything. And I don't want to sugarcoat anything to you guys. I'd rather you guys know the truth and you guys hear it. So that way you guys can know what's going on. And that way you guys get it. So the one thing that I do want to say is thank you to all the followers that I have on Twitch. Um, because you guys basically were the reason why I kept going. It unfortunately just isn't working the way I mean, sure many of people would like it to. Because trying to get to what gets me the views and all of that is just too much. It is a lot. Um, I don't have a stable support system that wants to help me at this point no matter how hard I try. And I think at a point I was trying for all the reasons that it was just like, you should just, it's okay to just, it, it's okay. You're not going to do this. It's not working. So what are those things? Well, I initially wanted to go into live streaming because I wanted to live stream video games. I wanted to live stream aspect of being a gamer, just like everybody else did. And I had a library of video games that I was streaming tons of it. As you guys know, I have an archive channel on YouTube that has basically everything that I've streamed for over the last couple of years. The only thing that isn't up there is like all the older stuff that's on my main channel because I have to download the stuff from YouTube to re-upload it on the other YouTube channel. Although I could just make a playlist of it and then leave it on the archive channel. I think it was just best experience, but it's like the older Puzzles and Dragons stuff, my first live stream for Puzzles, for live streaming in general, which I dated back, it was, 20, it was March of 2018, um, in which I did that. It's probably some older ones as well, but I don't know because the um, way things were working was that I used to stream off of my phone via the dr recorder if you guys don't know what dr recorder is that was an application on like the google play store that was basically just the hey you guys want to stream off of your phone you can stream record here and i used to do that i used to do a lot of that and it worked for a minute but then his like also mean i stream off of my phone so that means phone calls will interrupt sessions um i couldn't put my phone on do not disturb because everyone was blowing up my phone it's like, why? Because when I need to record or I needed to stream, everyone wants to just blow up my phone. So it was a lot of that. And I had to cut a lot of it. I don't know how to edit. I still don't know how to edit. I don't know. And, and so a lot of it basically, um, I did have to delete or I had to do a different stream because it was just, it was so much. And, um, at that point in time, I was just like, wow, I'm really going through this. I'm really going through this. So I eventually wanted to, I think because at that point I was simultaneous streaming, and then the application was like, hey, we have to charge you for this. And I was like, I'm not paying monthly fee for it. So then I just wanted to stream from Twitch itself. Um, it's very hard to try to stream from Twitch on your mobile if you don't have all the applications and then your phone doesn't have enough space for the application. So, I eventually, I think around 2020, as you all know, I ended up doing a laptop, which is the one I'm currently using, and I 
stream from there. I streamed all my content from there. Um, it was a very rocky start because I think I was using a recorder that I needed to pay to record because I didn't know what OBS was. I didn't know what Streamlabs was. I didn't know what any of that really was. I have it now. I have Streamlabs and I have OBS. So OBS, to record videos, I use Streamlabs. I use Streamlabs to do my live stream. Um, as so many people know, it was very, it's very difficult at times when you're trying to stream because you have to deal with weather issues, you have to deal with internet, you have to make sure everything's in, you, I mean, con, uh, congruent, you have to also deal with noise, sound, all of those goodies, and oh boy, yeah, I've dealt with 15 copyright strikes, I've dealt with, um, I've dealt with the, the whole shit bang bang, it, I'm sure many people no, it, streaming is hard. Streaming is very difficult. Even the best of streamers have told me, yeah, I have a lot of issues when it comes to streaming. It's set up, it's, it's content, it's all of that. And it's, it's not an easy thing. And I wanted to jump into to the mix. Like, I went in full charge. Um, so I was like, just grab what you know was, was what you thought was profitable. I streamed video content, I streamed. Dragon's content, and then I got into streaming video games at that point in time. Doing SA1, SA2, I was streaming. I think I tried to stream Generations, I tried to stream Lost World. Those were hell stories because my computer's graphics system plus recording was not the spirit. And it was a very difficult situation at that point because it was like, oh yeah, you're trying to do all of this and live stream. Mm -mm. So you can tell, yeah, it was very laggy. Um, I tried to window a lot of stuff. I really couldn't because the the window, um, I had to modify the game to go into window mode. I'd have to modify, because for some reason, I don't understand that how the generations not have a window mode, but every other game before and after had a window mode. Yeah. So at that point, I was just like, this is just a hot ass mess. I don't know what I'm doing. I, I mean, I don't know what else to do. So at that point, um, I gave up on Generations. I gave up trying to stream a whole lot of Sonic games, even though I wanted to stream a lot of them. And I went to GBA stuff. So you guys got to see events one, two, three. You got to see a battle. You did get to see some of the Genesis games. Uh, you definitely got to see, you guys got to see a lot of I was I, I streamed at that point. And many of you had fun watching a lot of that too. Because <laughs> even when I started streaming the Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, people were excited to see that. Um, I think. I don't know. I was excited to stream that streaming, but Yu-Gi-Oh! The Eternal Duelist Souls, Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship 2004. Uh, I did stream Yu-Gi-Oh! The Dungeon Dice Monsters. I wanted to go back to, I wanted to go back to streaming Yu-Gi-Oh! The Dungeon Dice Monsters because that was a whole lot of stuff I streamed during the summer. Um, I forget which period it was, but I was streaming it during the summer, and I mean, there was just lots of stuff. I streamed you know, Duel Links. Um, yeah, I was streaming a lot of stuff, and it was just the morale of wanting to stream it. The issue was just that I didn't have anybody watching the content, and it was very strange though because I get I had always been told you're starting off your streams are not gonna always you're not gonna see the numbers you want to. see. Which is funny though, because after the first few years, I thought I was getting people to come watch. I don't know. I was, you no, know, I didn't really get to see raids because of how things were structured on my phone. Um, I didn't get to see people who were subscribing, people who were watching on YouTube, people who were watching on Twitch. So it was very odd. I was like, is it me? I guess I'm just not a personable person. It's very funny because, like, when people, if you ever meet me in person, like, I'm very, a very nice person, very charming. Then you start, you know, this thing popping me off. Then you get these claws. And it's just like, okay, well, I don't know what else to really do. You know, I tried to bring music into my stream. I tried to talk to my audience. The keyword here is audience. Um, I did promote myself as much as I possibly could. I only really followed a lot of streamers who were helping other streamers promote their streams. So like, if a dis I was in a Discord, 
or I was subscribed to someone and their Discord was open and I was able to broadcast my stream, I would do that through their channel. I know there are a lot of Discords that were free Discords. There's a lot of stream subscriber Discords. So I'm subscribed to a lot of them. And I basically, that's what I was doing. I was using those to help me, you know, promote my channel. So, like, when I went on, that's what I did. And it was, like, the most, it wasn't humbling experience. It was just more so nerve-wracking because, you know, I had to constantly make sure everything was together, make sure the sound quality was good, make sure I wasn't either too quiet or too loud or breaking someone's ears. I had it, it, a whole lot of stuff to make sure everything was perfect. And then when, when everything was perfect, it was just like, well, where's the audience? And one thing that I always got mad at you at Twitch about was, and I verbally said this on YouTube, um, so I believe I've been blacklisted on social media. This was nothing new. And it was basically just the, you have people promoting this. I'm sitting here promoting myself every which way I can. And I'm not seeing anything. You know, I don't care about the money. I don't care about the, you know, the, you can keep the check. I, I just want people to, you know, be here and watch me stream and have a good time watching these people. And I make friends from, you know, these people coming in. And the who the, like, I had literally, will have 20 people in my chat box. Because you can see the chat box when you're streaming, they show you the chat box. You can click the thing and say, these are the people listed in here. You have your mods, you have um, your your server bots, your mods, you the streamer, and then all the people that are in the chat. But the people who are in your chat are not the people that they recognize in your view. Because your view counter and your lineup are two totally different things that are going on. And I'm like, well, they shouldn't be two totally different things. There's like 15 people in the in the chat. Those 15 people should be counting from their views. And then they're not counting from their views. And I was like, well, what's the point of having them counting from their views if I can't view them? That makes no sense. So at that point, I was just like, you know what? I am completely done. Fuck it. Just it is what it is. So then I cut the viewer count off. And I guess in a way that was supposed to make me like feel more relaxed to stream. Then you would get your choice summaries, and that's what really made me mad even more. It's like I didn't want a choice summary, and I wasn't using the summary from like in Twitch. I was using the summary from like in Streamlabs as well, and even their numbers were equaling up. Like this is your view count. This is the people that watch you. This is how long they're watching you, and I'm just like, well, the fuck do you want me to do? Because I'm doing everything I possibly. I am doing everything possible. But it's just like I got to a point where I was like, I'm just I'm done. I I I had a lot of breaking points. You know, I called out Twitch, I called out Streamlabs, and I was just like, So is this like what you're doing? Like you're not counting these people who are watching are in the chat as viewers. And no answer. But we all know Twitch has their own issues with things that they're doing right now because they were doing affiliates in partners dirty, which I'm neither an affiliate or a partner. So a lot of that did not affect me. And my whole thing was, even though I'm on the bottom of the totem pole, where's the respect that I get that you give to the people on top, which is not much from the last couple of years, last Three or four years, no, the last five years, the shit has been an issue. That shit has been a problem. So much that I can't address on my own. But you know, let some big, you know, Twitch streamer speak on it. It causes calamity. I speak on it. Crickets. So yeah, I, and at a point I was just like, fuck. I I don't know what the what else to do? I guess I just want to just say fuck it. So I stopped streaming for a minute. But you guys know, for those who don't know, I had been streaming for a minute because I got really sick. You know, 20, 2023 was not the year, but that was the year I, I was catching hands. I was sick at the end of 20, at, towards the end of 2022. 
um, I caught a, I caught an infection in my mouth from, um, from my teeth. Uh, two of my teeth were chipped back in 2021. By 20, the end of 2023, those suckers were full blown, giving me everything they could from the infection. They were both infected. One was dead, and the other one was on the verge of dying. And uh, I had to get a whole bunch of stuff together. I thank you to Anthem Blue Cross because holy shit, if it wasn't for them, I would have never been able to get the teeth out. Um, I was getting ready to sue Western Dental for how I was being treated. Um, my doctor at that point was just an ass. Um, so I had to change him. I actually had to go look for a new doctor because when I did my move, I had to change all my stuff. So yeah, I went through a lot. I had a teeth infection, I had a gallbladder that had my gallbladder got infected. So my gallbladder had to be removed. Then I had to go in February, I had to get my teeth took out. By the May, I caught a nut I had caught sinus infection in April. Then I got real sick in May. Turns out I had RSV. Then I was still dealing with RSV throughout the whole summer. So fuck my summer. And mind you, where I lived, it was extremely high. We were in the triple digits. So I was going through shit storm. So <laughs> yeah, it was a lot. Then I had to go back to work and had to do all that. So it's like a never ending cycle of me trying to do my best to keep myself together. And at that point, I just couldn't do it anymore. I was just like, yeah, this is where it, this is where I stand. I have to make some type of, of stand of what I need to do. So at that point, as you all know, I had stopped streaming. Um, I may have did like one or two pop up streams. I don't even remember off the top of my head because I was so busy just recording, just to have put the con put what I needed to put content up on YouTube. That's all different video. And at that point, I had told everyone I am taking a break from streaming. This the, the break got longer and longer and to this point. Up until this day, I still have not streamed since maybe August of 2023. So, in alliance to that, I have not came to a conclusion and a decision, you know, of what I wanted to do uh, now that I have no longer been streaming. You know, am I going to go back to streaming? If so, am I what am I going to do? And if not, and what are they going to do? So the archive channel is going to still be there. What I'm going to do, what I have done, if you haven't already seen it, is now I've called the HPJ archives. I haven't called it, I'm not calling it HPJ's Twitch archives, but I'm calling it HPJ's archives. And the archives is basically just going to have the streams that I've already done on there. I also want to put videos on there, uh, maybe do an hour, uh, two hours or so of content you know, kind of similar to like Let's Plays and Walkthroughs and put that on there as well. And then probably change it again and call it HPJ's Walk, you know, Let's Plays in, in Archives. Or just, you know, I'll just call it the Archives and, you know, or HPJ Gaming. And HPJ Gaming is going to have, you know, the Archives from my Twitch, from me on Twitch. It's going to have video game, it's going to have video game content, it's going to have life, my, you know, my life. You know the things that I I I play it's gonna be on there. You know whether it's mobile or whether it's through the emulator and it's you know OG games, new games, all of that is gonna be on there. And I think that would be a better way than me just you know having it rock. I don't think I'll ever come back to live stream unless I know for a fact that one hundred percent I'm going to have a solid audience that's more than just one person usually, and I know that person. It is just what it, it it has to be what it is because there is no help for me outside. I have I'm basically helping myself. And you know, I try to get my friends to come. I try to get all these, you know, people in different discords to come. And it look, the, the numbers showed it, the view count show it, and I got the receipts to show it. Like it was it was here and there. Yeah, I did what I could, and I am at least proud of myself for doing it, and I think I'm making the best decision for myself, and I 
think that I stand by that. Um, will I ever return? I think at this point in time, no. If things change, maybe. But things have to change in order for there to be something Yeah, I mean, if you're going to, you know, strength and pledge, you, you do you and, and hope it works out for you. It'll work out for you. All right, so with that said, that's going to wrap up this video. And I hope you guys do enjoy the other videos that will be coming. I thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Um, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel as it does help me out tremendously. You can hit the notification bell to be informed of when I upload more content to my channel. Um, social media links are in the description box below. And with that said, you guys, thank you guys so much for help for celebrating the channel's first anniversary. And I will catch you all next time. HPJ, something up.